get some work experience because that's how I learned that I wanted to go into this field, specifically chemical engineering, obviously, that I've gone into. But um, I didn't really get a great deal of advice at school on chemical engineering. My dad is actually an engineer, but he didn't want to influence me in any way. So I went to a local actually, oil refinery and spoke to chemical engineers there and, and saw what the actual job entailed. And I just got some experience also while I was working at, um, while I was studying at university. And there you can actually get paid quite well um, in your summer jobs and you get that experience and you learn what sort of sector you want to work in. No job would be complete without its strains and its stresses, but Nietzsche tells us that what doesn't kill us only serves to make us stronger. Perhaps he never had to deal with a six foot three inch 14 stone bloke with a broken boiler, eh? I doubt it very much, Friedrich. What are the biggest challenges and what are the highlights at the end of the tunnel? The thing I enjoy the most about my job is the variety. Uh, I never really have to do the same thing over and over. I enjoy the fact that there's always a fresh challenge and that I don't really have to be in my office, that I can go and interact with people, look at problems, keeps my mind very agile. The best aspect of my job is uh, the variety. Uh, in any one working week, I will be doing things ranging from um, bending the ear of a politician about something we're not happy about, through to um, coming to, to visit sites and just see the the magic of chemistry in terms of the, the products that, uh, that people rely on in their everyday life and the fact that they actually come from, from the companies and the individuals that I represent. And then through to um, working on um, some very fundamentally important issues for society um, such as climate change and knowing that collectively the companies that I represent and the companies that I work with and ultimately the people within those companies um, more often than not are choosing to have a career in, in the industry because it gives them the opportunity to provide some of the solutions for, um, for society as a whole. And that gives me a real buzz when I'm, when I'm representing them. The best thing about my job is the amount of responsibility that I've gotten so quickly. So um, after six months, I, I had been working on a project for six months and um, I had to find a solution to some of our equipment was failing prematurely. And I found the solution and I was given a budget to spend and also a project team. So I had a process engineer, an IE engineer, um, and I sort of managed this project team. And it was just brilliant. Only been there six months. I have a project team and a budget um, to spend as well. So just satisfaction and the fact that what you're doing is really worthwhile. The thing I enjoy most about the job is the people I work with are good. You can have a laugh when were required, but it's hard work. And there's a lot of problem solving, so you can get your teeth into a, a good problem and in the end solve it and achieve something at the end. I enjoy the company, I enjoy what I do, I enjoy seeing the results and it's good when you can see something that you've worked on actually making it, it to a final product and making a difference. best thing about my job is the diversity. I love working with different types of people of all ages. Um, I'll be working, I mean I sit near a load of uh, young engineers, we have a really good social life, um, we often go out on, on weekends but also I'll be chatting to operators who've got 30 years experience but I like learning about their lives and things as well um, and I also get to be really challenged technically and I am really encouraged to use my knowledge and um, I get a lot of support from my company um, to do the sort of uh, different things that I do. You've been in the job for six months now. You know your role, the people around you and the way the company works. Your bedding in period is firmly behind you and your career can now bloom in the sector of your choice. The only limits to your growth are the extent of your talents and ambition. Looking forward, what do our interviewees think the future has in store in the chemical sector of tomorrow? The chemical industry in the UK is a huge contributor to GDP. It's actually the biggest manufacturing industry in the UK. 
it has a surplus of some 2% of GDP. And when you consider that uh, from a, on a national basis, I, I don't think people really understand the importance of the industry. And coming back to the subject of people, the UK chemical industry employs some quarter of a million people. Now these are sustainable, um, rewarding jobs um, which cover the whole plethora of the various different functions that big manufacturing industry can provide.